Hi guys, and welcome back to Mastering Python. In this video, we'll get you set up with your own development environment, install Python, and you'll start coding your first Python scripts. But first things first, let's install Python. Now to do this, head on over to the Python website, click on the Downloads button. Here you'll find the latest version of Python. The website will automatically recommend the best version for your system, so just go ahead and click that Download button and wait for the download to finish. Okay, so with the download completed, let's start by installing Python on Windows. You locate the Python file and double click it. This should open up the installer. Now in the installer, it's really, really important. It's crucial that you select the two boxes at the bottom, use admin privileges and add Python exe to path. This is really important. Once you've done that, click install now and just let the installer do its process. Depending on your machine, this might take a few minutes. Fantastic. Once it's done, you'll get this message saying that the setup has been successful. You have now installed Python on your machine. Now for Mac, the process is exactly the same. You find your PKG file, you double click it, and you follow the prompts in the installer. You'll have to click continue and install here and there, but the process is pretty much the same. And at the end, you'll get a similar success message knowing that you've installed Python on your system. Fantastic. So now that you've installed Python in your machine, let's make sure that it's working properly. Open a terminal on Mac or a command prompt on Windows and type the following command, Python minus minus version, and press enter. If Python has installed correctly, you should see a version number here. Now, depending on the version of Mac that you're using, you might have to write Python 3 instead of just Python, but the outcome should be the same. Now let's take this a step further. Type Python and press enter to get to the Python interactive shell. Now in the interactive shell, you will see these three chevrons on the left hand side, which is basically Python's way to tell you I'm listening. So let's give it something to do. Type print, open brackets, quotation marks, hello, comma, Python and press enter. You'll see Python printing out hello Python back to you. And there you have it. You've just written your first Python command and you're all set to go. But before we get into the nitty gritty of Python, there's one last thing to do. We have to set up an integrated development environment or IDE. Think of it as, as creating a workbench, a workspace for you to do your programming in. In this course, we'll use Visual Studio Code or VS Code for short by Microsoft as our IDE. It's a free, highly customizable and very powerful and popular IDE that is used by programmers around the world. Now to get it, head on over to the website at code.visualstudio.com. Here, just like with Python, you will see a big download button. Click this button, it will download the correct version for you and then just follow along the installation steps as before. I'm not going to do this because I've already got Visual Studio Code set up on my machine, but it's very simple. Download it, double click the file, and then just follow the instructions. Once you've installed VS Code, open it to make sure that it's running fine. With VS Code running, let's set up your programming environment. To do this, open the extension. So here on the left hand side, you have this extension tab. If you click on it, you will get a list of all these extensions that you can install for VS Code. In the search bar, type Python, press enter, and here you will see a list of all the different add-ons that you can install. The ones we want to install is Python support by Microsoft. So we install this extension. It also installs the Python debugger. And if you want there are other extensions like Python indent that I've also got installed that I would recommend you install. Right, now it's your turn to write your first script. First thing, we need to open a folder to keep all of our scripts in. So you go to File, Open Folder, and here I'm just going to select this folder, Master Python. And if I click back at this Explorer up here, this Explorer tab, this will get me to where all of my files are going to reside. You can close the extension tab. We're going to create a new file. So we have this New File button here. Click on it, and we're going to call this hello.py. You see Python files have the file extension .py. That's how we identify them. You press enter and you see in the main editor window, this will open up the hello.py file ready for you to type your code. And here we will do exactly the same as we did in the 
command shell, we're going to write print. And this time it's hello VS Code. Right, so now we've written our script. We want to execute it. So first thing we need to do is save the file. You can go save. And then if you go up to view and scroll down, you will see this selection terminal. And you click on that. And then you see there's a terminal window that is opened at the bottom of VS Code. And this terminal window is within the folder that we've created. Now, to execute the script, you simply type Python or Python 3 if you're on Mac. And we called our file hello.py. And if you press enter, it executes it. There you go. So now we've run our file. It says hello VS Code, just as we've typed here. Before we move on, there's one last thing I would like you to do. If you go to File, Preferences, Settings, and you look for the setting Autosave, change this to On Focus Change. It means that whenever you've finished editing your file and you go somewhere else, it saves your file. Great, and that's it. You're all set up with Python and VS Code. You've written your first script and executed it. In the next lessons, we'll start looking at basic Python syntax, writing more complex scripts, and really getting a feel for the language. Now, as always, before you continue to the next video, please like and subscribe. It helps this channel grow. And happy coding!